Welcome to Research Hub. We have heard of many hypotheses which have led to great inventions in science. Assumptions that are made on the basis of some evidence are known as hypotheses. In this video, let us learn in detail about the hypothesis and the type of hypothesis with examples. Let's start. So, first, we need to understand. What is hypothesis? A hypothesis is an assumption that is made based on some evidence. This is the initial point of any investigation that translates the research questions into predictions. It includes components like variables, population and the relation between the variables. A research hypothesis is a hypothesis that is used to test the relationship between two or more variables. Some characteristics of the hypothesis. 1. The hypothesis should be clear and precise to consider it to be reliable. 2. If the hypothesis is a relational hypothesis, then it should be stating the relationship between variables. 3. The hypothesis must be specific and should have scope for conducting more tests. 4. The way of explanation of the hypothesis must be very simple and it should also be understood that the simplicity of the hypothesis is not related to its significance. Following are the sources of hypothesis. 1. The resemblance between the phenomenon. 2. Observations from past studies, present-day experiences, and from the competitors. 3. Scientific theories. 4. General patterns that influence the thinking process of people. There are six forms of hypothesis and they are. 1. Simple hypothesis. It shows a relationship between one dependent variable and a single independent variable. For example, if you eat more vegetables, you will lose weight faster. Here, eating more vegetables is an independent variable. 2. Complex hypothesis. It shows the relationship between two or more dependent variables and two or more independent variables. Eating more vegetables and fruits leads to weight loss, glowing skin, and reduces the risk of many diseases such as heart disease. 3. Directional Hypothesis It shows how a researcher is intellectual and committed to a particular outcome. The relationship between the variables can also predict its nature. 4. Non-directional Hypothesis It is used when there is no theory involved. It is a statement that a relationship exists between two variables without predicting the exact nature, direction, of the relationship. 5. Null Hypothesis It provides a statement which is contrary to the hypothesis. It's a negative statement, and there is no relationship between independent and dependent variables. The symbol is denoted by HO. 6. Associative and Causal Hypothesis Associative hypothesis occurs when there is a change in one variable resulting in a change in the other variable. Whereas, the causal hypothesis proposes a cause and effect interaction between two or more variables. Some functions performed by the hypothesis. Hypothesis helps in making an observation and experiments possible. It becomes the start point for the investigation. Hypothesis helps in verifying the observations. It helps in directing the inquiries in the right direction. How will hypothesis help in the scientific method? Researchers use hypotheses to put down their thoughts directing how the experiment would take place. Following are the steps that are involved in the scientific method. Formation of question. Doing background research. Creation of hypothesis. Designing an experiment. Collection of data. Result analysis. Summarizing the experiment. Communicating the results. Don't forget like share and subscribe my channel.